might well be suffering from a case of PTSD. The head nurse notified me that you keep asking who you are. We will tell you who you are as soon as we find out. John Doe, you just woke up from a coma. You have been in a coma for over three days. We have taken every precaution and used all the medical procedures available to us to keep you alive and to find out your identity and why you might have come to be here. Are you understanding me? Well, uh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, mostly, I guess. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm following. You are the mystery man, John Doe. Your DNA has been sent to the FBI who has the largest number of human files of DNA in existence. Things overall are holding steady for now. Hang in there, John Doe. I believe things are looking up for you. Keep up the good fight. I will check in on you later. I have other patients. Later, John Doe. Where did I leave my gun? Gun? Did I say gun? Shh. John Doe? John Doe, I ain't no John Doe, but I can't remember anything. It must be some form of amnesia, but I am so tired, so tired. I have to figure this out. This can't be happening to me. Who the F am I? Uh, it's... We have new information that we have to tell you about, just in case you can still hear us. You are Colin Wardsley, also known as the Angel of Death, a convicted serial killer who escaped from Sing Sing and was found with three gunshot wounds in your body and one in your brain. I am only telling you this because you woke up for a few hours, five days ago. You have been on death row at Sing Sing for over four years, and have been saved in the last minute by stays of execution by your brother, the governor of Arkansas two times. That must have been horrific, being a convicted killer on death row. But there is even worse news, we think you are totally brain dead, 